In this video, I'm going to show you how to put in, use formulas to find the proficiency rates for each class and then for the whole grade for each assessment. Uh, this is a really useful way of getting a snapshot of where each class and grade is um, overall uh, and to see how your classes are, are growing throughout the year. In our previous video, we went over how we use conditional formatting to color code all your data automatically. So if you haven't seen that yet, you might want to go back and check it out because it's going to be kind of important for this one. So you'll notice I kept three uh, rows on the bottom of each class. Uh, those are going to be really important. That's where we're going to, we're going to use these rows uh, to help us um, calculate our data. Okay, so. Uh, the first of those gray rows is going to be the uh, number, uh, I'm just going to say on track. The second row is going to be total students. And the third row is going to be the percent on track. So the total number of students, that number just stays the same, obviously. I can go ahead and put that number in for all um, assessments, because the number of students shouldn't change, ideally. So I've got 14 in that class. If I scroll down, I'm just going to copy and paste. I'm just going to copy and paste that. Uh, this class only has 12 students. Uh, 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 if only that were actually true. Uh, just on demo videos. All right, so I've got my total number of students. Um, and then basically what we're going to do is we're going to put a formula in here. Um, we're going to say, okay, this, the percent on track, equals the number on track divided by the total number of students. So if you see what I did there, I just typed in the equal sign, and that automatically starts, uh, opens up a, a function. And I just clicked on this cell, use the slash for divided by this cell. Okay, obviously it's zero right now. Uh, then I'm going to take that. I, I could do that for each individual cell. A shortcut you can do if you want this formula to apply to these two things and these two things. I can just grab it here and drag it across. And it'll just extend that formula. So I'm going to do the same thing here. Equals this cell divided by this cell. And I'll just drag that across. So now I've got my proficiencies set up. What I need to do then is figure out the number of students who are on track. Well, for this particular set of data, because this is set up in letters, I'm going to have to manually count it, which should be easy because it's all already color coded. So I know any scores that are green or blue are, are on grade level or above. So I can just go through and say, OK. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that is seven students, and my percentage automatically gets calculated. Now, when I come over to here, I can take a little shortcut. Uh, I don't like manually counting things because you can miscount and you don't want to do that. I'm going to use another formula here um, to, to count up everything. It's called the count if formula equals count if. So what I'm doing here, I remember the cut score for on grade level for this set of data was 281. So what I want it to do is I want it to count if how many of these scores are greater than 281, or actually are 281 or above. So I'm going to say count if, and then I can just highlight this range of data comma, quotation mark, is greater than 280, quotation mark, parentheses. So I want it to count if these cells are greater than 280. And that gives me seven. There are seven of these scores that are greater than 280. So there are seven or more students who are above grade level. So that gets me my percentage for each class. And you'll see that, you know, as your other data comes in, you'll want to see those numbers and percentages grow, obviously. And I can do the same thing for the other class down here. Uh, again, with the, um, I'll put in the percentages uh, equals 
this divided by that. I'll extend that formula across these. Do the same thing here equals this divided by that. And extend. And this one I have to manually count. One, two, three, four, five. So it looks like five are on grade level. Uh, over here, I'll set that same thing equals count if this range is greater than 280. I return six. So the beauty of this is um, as student now as teachers input their data, say that was 135, not only Not only will it color code it, it will also update here. So let's say this kid actually scored a 280. It's going to, whoop, I meant a 380. It's going to change the color coding. It's going to change the number of on track. And it's going to change the proficient. The other thing I want to do is I actually want to do this for the whole grade level as well. Okay, uh, I'm going to show you how you can then, this is class by class percent proficient, but in my next video I'll show you how you can then use this data to calculate the whole grade level um, percent proficient. Um, and again, the idea is to set all of this up so all of this stuff is happening automatically. You are not having to go in and type in all this stuff every single time. You just set it up this way beforehand. Uh, and then as the data is added, all of these other things happen automatically. So you can check that out in the next video.